Okay, Brazil have overcome Jamaica 3-0 in the second game of the day of the Women's World Cup in, in France. It's day three. Uh, 3-0 winners. In the end, it was actually quite a comfortable result, but they had to work for it in the first half. They they had moments in the first half where they looked a bit shaky and, and Jamaica had their chances and, and Jamaica had a fair bit of pace. And, and I think that did trouble the Brazilians a little bit, but the Brazilians have more quality, more experience uh, and a general higher skill level. And that quality told in the end. Uh, Cristiano getting three goals. Uh, the first goal comes from across, brilliant pinpoint header, and the curve she gets on the ball from the header as well. Great headed headed technique there. Schneider in the Jamaica goal uh, kept the scoreline at three. No, it, it would have been higher yeah, had it not been for the goalkeeper Schneider. Um, the second goal comes after half time, and the third goal, the free kick. I mean, this is this is why we have goal line tech because the first goal. Was it blocked on the line? It, it it crossed. It crossed the line by a good foot and a half. But five, six years ago, the debate would have been, did that cross the line? And of course, watching England-Germany in 2010 in South Africa with the goal that wasn't by Frank Lampard, that debate is what caused goal line tech to be brought in because it was so blatantly obvious that a goal had been wrongly chalked off. Now we have that goal line tech, the debate's gone. And to be fair, from that tight angle to, to get enough angle and enough pace on the ball to make sure the defender didn't have a chance to, to block on the line. That's a good finish for the second goal. The third goal, the free kick, that is pinpoint. That's almost perfect to the point where you could not get it any better. And and Cristiano scores the first hat-trick at this year's Women's World Cup. There's also uh, Andressa missing a penalty. It was a poor penalty. Um, rightly given, I have to admit, there was, with the new definition of handball and the interpretation of what is handball, that was a correct decision. Penalty was shocking. Um, if that goes in, I think Jamaica, the wheels would have completely come off. It didn't. It gave the Jamaicans confidence to stick around in the first half and have a few chances of their own. And they made it life difficult for, for the Brazilians. They had that pace that troubled them. But the quality level and the fitness level of the Brazilian team shone out in the end. The Jamaicans will learn a lot from this. Uh, bearing in mind, a lot of these Jamaicans play in Europe or, or play in the US. So they are playing alongside and against high quality players at their level. So eventually, yeah. Their quality will improve, their technique will improve, their fitness will improve. And as a team, they will get better and they will learn a lot from this tournament. This tournament from them is a learning experience. This is their first international tournament for the Jamaican women's team at at the world level. Brazil, they've come into this tournament on the back of some really poor form. uh, Nine defeats in a row. You would not see that in the the men's game with the Brazilian team. That would not be tolerated. But, you know, it's been a poor build-up for Brazil going into this tournament. The coach is under a lot of pressure. The players are under the spotlight and under a lot of pressure. This will be a morale boost for them and and give them some confidence going forward. Um, They have struggled in recent times. And actually, to be fair, it was actually a very, very entertaining game. It was very entertaining to watch. Uh, And, and, uh, you know, and now we've got England, Scotland coming up after this. And then we'll see how that goes. And uh, yeah, uh, it's going to be a fun evening, I think. I think the England-Scotland game is going to be really entertaining. I think both those sides really want to win that game because that's a must-win game for both teams. I think the loser will find it difficult to get out of the group. Uh, Brazil getting that 3-0 win today. Uh, that means they're top their group. Uh, and uh, Jamaica and Australia, you know, they've had poor starts. Italy, obviously, joined top, but goal difference, Brazil are top. That's going to be a fun clash between those two with the history that the men's team of both sides both nations have in, in world football with Brazil and Italy, the history, the rivalry between those nations when it comes to the men's game. Can Italy and Brazil ignite a rivalry in the women's game? That'd be kind of fun to watch. But for now, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Place your comments below. And of course, we've got England, Scotland coming up and that'll be the Women's World Cup done for the day. And then we can look at some other major sports stories that are taking place both here in the UK and abroad. And for now, goodbye.